and other sea creatures has been contaminating our marine life. We must work together to solve this issue. Gyres in the Pacific Ocean, such as the North Pacific Gyre, caused the plastic pollution to circulate in the ocean for so long. Tides are caused by the gravitational pull of the moon on the Earth's water. The gravitational pull of the moon only pulls on the Earth's water because the Earth's water is not connected to its mass. The gravitational pull of the moon doesn't act on all of the Earth because the mass of the Earth is much greater than the mass of the moon. When the gravitational pull of the moon pulls on the Earth's water, it creates the phenomenon that we call high tide. A unique way to address the problem of plastic pollution lies in the Amazon rainforest with a fungus called an endophyte. Originally designed to digest cellulose in plants, it has been converted by researchers to digest polycarbonate plastic. Along with the aid of UV lights, it is able to convert the polycarbonate plastic into biodegradable carbon particles. One of the most important aspects of plastic pollution lies right above our heads. Right there. The combination of UV light and fungal strain can eliminate plastic pollution. Polycarbonate plastic contains BPA, which can be broken down with the aid of UV light. Polycarbonate and polyurethane are broken down into carbon molecules, which are then consumed by phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are at the bottom of the food chain, so the ecosystem will not be disrupted. Marine and terrestrial fungi are biologically different, so in order to prevent the loss of ecological equilibrium, we introduced gene splicing to take the enzyme from the endophyte in charge of breaking down plastic into the marine fungi. The constant circulation of plastic pollution due to the North Pacific gyres will cause a modified fungus to travel to the same destination as the plastic pollution, where most of the plastic can be broken down and reduced.